just one small cauliflower will be plenty. And this will still give you quite a lot of puree, probably enough almost for four main course portions. And now we're going to cut these very simply into little florets. Little florets like that will be fine, but you can even just halve those. And the first stage is going to be cooking these for about 10 to 15 minutes in about 25 grams of butter. We must keep this very, very low because I don't really want this to colour. I want to keep it very, very natural so we can keep that lovely white, fresh flavour. Now, you'll notice there's not even a sizzle in the pan. We will actually reach that, but we want it to be very, very gentle. Because if you allow these to colour, we're then taking on another flavour. And you can hear it now. It's just starting, so nice and slowly. And let's just give that a little stir. Now, to help prevent that frying, it's always a good idea just to sit a lid on top. And, of course, that's going to help create a steam. So it's going to give us that overall cooking process rather than just frying on the base. Notice as well, for this quantity, I've used quite a large saucepan, quite high. Again, that helps create the steam. If it's very shallow, then you're going to get more of that frying technique, and that's not what I want. I want these to sort of stew in the butter. While that's happening, I'm going to make a dressing. Now, this one is going to be just using lots of fresh herbs, and I like to get excited about herbs at this time of the year because there's so many coming about. Tarragon, there's flat parsley, some dill, chervil, and of course, chives, just giving us that little oniony flavour. As with the basil oil, heat 100 millilitres of olive oil and three tablespoons of groundnut oil until just warm. Don't let the oil get too hot as it'll overcook the herbs. Take a tablespoon of each of the chopped herbs and place in a liquidizer, saving a level teaspoon for garnishing. Pour in the warm oil and liquidize to a smooth puree. Before straining through a sieve. If refrigerated, this dressing will keep for up to two weeks. So again, something else that can be made well in advance. Let's go back to our cauliflower here. You'll notice how tender this is becoming as I squeeze it but that's not quite soft enough to give us that really smooth finish. That's what will give you that slightly grainy texture. So the next stage is to add some milk, and here I've got 200 millilitres. And now, again, we're going to bring that to the simmer nice and gently, and then let it just tick over for a further 10 to 15 minutes. Ready just to puree the whole thing. If it does discolour, don't worry, because once you puree it, it comes back to its brilliant white. Now, I think at this point, we can start to add some seasoning as it's blitzing it in. So, obviously, a good sprinkling of salt and, I think, some pepper as well. But notice for this, I prefer to use just ground white pepper rather than the coarse. We don't want those little granules working through it. There's another flavour you can add, and I'd say this is really what I call an optional extra. Just a little tiny squeeze of lemon.